Oh, Test Room Woods and a good mob type. All right. Oh. This might be it. Oh, yeah, you got Vile Swarms. Yep. Yeah. That's a ghost, though, but that's all right. That's just one that we. One chance. Somebody's asking if the Enchantress is stronger for DH. Um, depends. Uh, I use Templar, and most people use Templar. Um, just make sure you don't use the attack speed thingy. Uh, if, you, if you do use Enchantress, that you don't do the attack speed and Enchantress buff. But I think it's I think with Enchantress you have uh, more procs with S of Johan. Is that what, why you use it? Die. Uh, I'm actually using it because because she was the only one I found with the can't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you found the the smoking thurible and you yeah. didn't get an enchanting favor or skeleton key yet. Yeah, basically that's really the only reason why I'm using. Okay. Yeah, others. I mean that that makes sense. Although it should be very easy to get a uh, follower token for the one you want by just crafting level seventy yellow follower tokens and then just upgrading them, and it's a one in three chance because each follower has three tokens. You have the all skill token, the fifty percent cooldown token, and the immortality token. Goes. Yeah, unavoidable. I mean, uh, I guess they are avoidable if you vault on the right frame, right? But you don't have vaults, so. Yeah, I kind of wish that that lightning thing tracked the nearest target as opposed to the direction you're facing or walking, I guess, because yeah. with strafe, you're kind of going all over the place and so. <laughs> You can't focus it. Like I guess with other classes, they can just focus it by like aiming at a certain monster. Like you can just shift click and attack in that position. You know, stand force. What is it? Force stand. Force stop. But yeah, this is a good rift so far. I mean, he got the right mob types with a uh, shield pylon. Yeah, I love the shield pylon so much with squirts. So yeah, of good. course. I mean, that's. I don't. I mean, I liked it a lot too when I did my 118, but that was because I was squishy. <laughs> much more squishy than I'm used to. It's all your fault, Die, telling me to go with multi shot. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea, but you still told me to do it. I don't. I, I don't follow Dioxide's advice. He told me to go multi-shot with God, and it didn't work out. <laughs> I mean, it worked out, but it was close. Yeah, Pee Wee. But remember that God cannot handle Doom Dervish or Sand Dweller, <laughs> whereas multi-shot can, and, and N6 M4 can sort of as well. The other one here somewhere because he's died. There he is. Cool. I give up and just follow me. Uh, ski power on. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Speed pylon is absolutely worthless. It does absolutely. In fact, it nerfs your damage. <laughs> it's so counterintuitive. Yeah, sand, yeah, Pee Wee, sand dwellers, yeah, the, with their sand hula hoop. And then for the dune dervishes when they start their little spinny dance, spin to win. Yeah, I call it the sand hula hoop because it's kind of like that. They just like, you know, put their hands in the ground, they grab, and then they just start shaking their booty with the hula hoop. They'll be like, can't touch this. <laughs> But on the other hand, we have if missile dampening appears, then you know, it's basically a GG. If you have like three elites right here, if one of those was missile dampening, guy could kill all three of them, like super easily. Why is this one thing in the? <laughs> you see this one blue right there? <laughs> He's just blocking the door. He's blocking the door. <laughs> I can't even go to the next map if I wanted to. They're, they're, the, the AI has like leveled up. They're like, oh, we know you want to skip, but <laughs> we're gonna make it so you can't skip because we know that you're not using illusory boots. 
Yeah, I mean, you could go for the higher breakpoint, but it, it costs a lot, like, to do it. You have to have, like, attack speed on your weapon, um, you have to have, like, 20% on your quiver, plus, like, I think maybe two rolls of 7% or something, or somewhere. I mean, it, you have to, like, sacrifice a lot to get that higher breakpoint, and you burn your hatred really bad. Um... Yeah, I mean, the the only benefit you really get from such high attack speed is, I mean, aside from, of course, getting, you know, optimal number of the shots, which you could already do with the Valas, is uh, stricken stacks. But, I mean, you could just do, use Valas, or even, if you don't even want to use Valas, you can run uh, Rocket Storm. Rocket Storm will, like, get you almost the same effect. Like, you're, you're still going to get extra procs with Rocket Storm. Like, actually, I don't know why Dai is using Rocket Storm. I mean, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I should have these guys. That long. Yeah, the, the the guy likes to go invisible. He smokes screens. Oh, you're fearing him a bit. I guess you have fear chance on your helm. I don't have my weapon, unfortunately. Is there a benefit to hitting 2.51 while dual wielding with Valas? Well, you shouldn't be using Valas at that very high attack speed, because you're not going to get any benefit. Uh, Valas, really, what it does is it corrects... I mean, I'm sure you read the, the, the threads but uh, on the Demon Hunter form, but it just corrects the mismatch between the internal cooldown and the strafe ticks, right? You, you fire four strafe attacks per attack cycle. And uh, the internal cooldown for the strafe projectile is nine frames, such that um, if you hit faster than the internal cooldown, you're gonna only spawn a projectile every other hit. And so what Valas does is it kind of like increases the leeway by letting the the hit linger a little bit further, and hopes that it hits a further target and still give you a chance to proc uh, another. Projectile. So it kind of like corrects for the fact that you have a, an internal cooldown mismatched with your attack speed. Like for example, Stricken Gem on the other hand doesn't have that problem because the internal cooldown of Stricken Gem is matched to your attack speed. So you'll always like you know proc the Stricken Gem at the correct rate because it's you know, Stricken Gem is, is, is matched. Uh, the internal cooldown is matched to your attack speed, but not for strafe for the GOD 4 set bonus. That one is just 9 frames regardless. So that's why running a slower weapon, if you if you hit a 9 frame breakpoint between uh, attacks for the strafe hits, uh, you're automatically going to spawn a primary every hit with strafe, which is meaning under 1.67 attacks per second. If you go over that, uh, you know, you're basically going to have these windows where the game allows you to spawn a projectile, but you don't have, you didn't hit anything yet. So, Valos just lets you make up for that. And same with Rocket Storm. Rocket Storm also allows you to get some extra procs in there if you have that mismatched timing. So, yeah, don't. So basically, if you're gonna go dual wield, you probably want to go Valos because I mean, you need to have. I mean, you're not gonna hit the lower breakpoint with, with dual wield, so you need that to go with Valos probably. Uh, I suppose you could go with much, much higher attack speed and like a Fortress Ballista. Um, but yeah, and with Rocket Storm, it's an alternative. Uh, you could also try, I know this is going to be unorthodox, but DMKT suggested it, so it's got to be true. Uh, is uh, going with a shield, where you get a lidless wall, and you go with uh, a Dawn plus a lidless wall, uh, and then you don't put any Paragon into attack speed, and then you'll be at the, the correct breakpoint. So, but, I mean, Dawn has lower damage per hit, but with the Lidless Wall, you will be a lot tankier. I mean, your armor is going to be higher, you've got block chance, uh, and you know, Lidless Wall, you're gonna, you still can get area damage, you can still get um, cold damage and crit chance on that Lidless Wall. So, oh, nice. I get it's a not... Gavity at the end. Oh, uh, too, too bad you can't save it for the boss. Like, if you could right. somehow tell him not to die and then just do it on the side. <laughs> I don't know why you're bothering killing the trash. Kill them, whatever is inside the dampening aura. Okay, yeah, you should have this, I think, right? Yeah, I got yeah. this. 
Yeah, you got this. I probably got this faster than, than my 121 or 122. Yeah, that's what I mean. You could probably get 125, but beyond 125, you're gonna have to fish like quite a bit. Like I could get 120, but I would need to fish a little bit because I don't run Odyssey then. So that's yeah. I run Yang's recurve. <laughs> <laughs> A multi shot. Make sure you multi shot. Out. Yang's recurve. You know, that's the that's the troll meta. I'm basically doing that just to see how many idiots take that advice, and uh, I want to see how many people have multi shot on their skill bar tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really. He's kind of the number of keys. I said, if I get the 123 and 10 keys, I'll stop. Uh, okay. I ripped one key, and this is the second key, so he's like eight oh, keys man. left. He's like eight keys left, so he's gonna keep going. <laughs> Yeah, Philos needs to get some rest, I think. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's kind of like, you know, it, it, I can't tell him, like, you know, right, get so some sleep. I mean, it's just, it's his, it's his yeah. life. This is going to be under uh, 13 minutes. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like you're in Oh, you saw that? That was, that was a rubber band. That was complete rubber band. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that was definitely a rubber band. That was yeah, not no, my I fault. saw it. Everybody saw it here. That's yeah, dumb. like. The that position desync. The fact that strafe um, takes your position, but it takes a little bit to update the server's position with. Okay, oh, like there. Again. That was another one. That's yeah, not so. Time. Yeah, the thing is that it's, it's it has to do with position desyncing. The fact that the position of the character on your screen is stored locally, but it has to synchronize with the character. Uh, um, it has to synchronize with the server, and so sometimes there's a desync that happens there because you know, the client side versus server side. The server side always gets priority, and so if the server detects that you moved a little too far, the server will then try to correct you and say, "Oh no, you're not allowed to be there. So move I probably, over here." I, I, I would have gotten this at like right at 12 minutes or under 12 minutes had I not, yeah. had I not died to those stupid. Probably around 12 desync. minutes. You didn't lose too much time. I lost uh, 35. I lost 35 seconds. Yeah, because the first one was a was a 15 second rest. GG! It was a 20 second rest. So yeah, that would have been under 12 minutes. Need more time. Uh, all right. I had to play the GG. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's a good. Uh, you don't have a congrats sound, so that's why I had to play that one. I mean, I guess I could play Yeet. 